When setting up an FS220 or an FS230, which mount mode should I choose? Provided you've gone through the quick commissioning and you've gone through sensor settings, have gone through the unit settings, have entered in all of your pipe information, have chosen a sensor, have completed the medium settings, you will finally come to configure paths. You'll have to choose either path one or path two, save those settings, right arrow in on that path, and you will get the calculating recommended path geometry message. You will now come to your path geometry selection. And there will be four options. To help you choose which geometry to use, I strongly suggest you use the FS200 sizing tool. Now let's take a look at each one. Direct one traverse. This is one pass through the pipe or one traverse. One sensor is on one side of the pipe, the other is on the opposite side. What you're looking at here is a top view. This is typically used when there's not enough space to mount in reflect or if you're using non-metallic pipe. You're also probably best off using this when you have ductile iron pipes. Reflect two traverses. This is the same top view, except both sensors are on the same side of the pipe. And there are two passes or traverses inside the pipe. This is typically used for steel pipes whenever there's enough space and whenever the pipe diameter is large enough to accommodate this. Direct three traverses. This is typically reserved for gas applications. Again, here is a top view and there are one, two, three passes inside of the pipe. I would consult with FS200 before using this mount mode. Then you come to reflect four traverses where there are four passes inside of the pipe. This also is a gas only application or configuration. Again, please consult FS200 sizing tool for this. Once you've decided upon a path geometry, you'll want to hit the right arrow. You will see this message, calcul calculating recommended, recommended spacing. And you will see a recommended spacing index. When a spacer bar is used, this is when you will use the recommended spacing index one pin will go on to where it says reference and the other pin will go on the number for the spacing index. On smaller sensors size A and size B it's the same principle but you use a mounting track rather than a spacer bar. Alternatively, we have recommended spacing in inches, typically used on direct mounts. Here's an example of a vertical direct mount. And in this case, the flow is going upward. You should always avoid flow going downward on vertical pipes. Every install will come equipped with a mile hour spacing guide. 
You can use this guide to wrap around the pipe and find the opposite end of the pipe to get a true 180 degree offset between the sensor on one side and the sensor on the opposite side. If you're on a horizontal pipe and it's mounted either in reflect, reflect or direct, try to stay within the 10 o'clock to 2 o'clock range around the circumference of the pipe. Now hit next. Now hit receiver signal, right arrow. And if you see a receive signal like this, your installation is most likely good and you're finished.